Don, and this is Skeleton Crew Cooking. Today, we're going to cook acorn squash. Today, with acorn squash, first thing you want to do is pick an acorn squash that's mainly green, not like this one. Also, you want to look for the stem not to be dried out. You don't want it black. Um, and also, just kind of take an overall look and make sure that it's not damaged. Sometimes you could have a dried out uh, acorn squash inside. Now, acorn squashes are really, really hard to cut because they're so very hard, like a pumpkin. So you want to be very careful, sharp objects, right? So what you want to do is you want to find a nice area to cut the squash in half. What we're going to do is going to bake this. So we want it to be in half, sitting up nice. We can add our ingredients inside. It'll be delicious. So what I'm going to do first off is find a little spot in here and go ahead and pierce that just to kind of get it started. You know, these are so easy to fix and so good for you. A lot of people freak out on squash, but it's actually pretty, pretty tasty food. So there we go. We're gonna go ahead and take out the seeds and that fibrous lining right there. Like I say, it's not a lot of work. It's a lot like pumpkin seeds, too. So I'm going to kind of scrape out some of the fiber. Like so. Just before you start prepping the inside of your acorn squash, what we want to do is preset the oven and get it preheated. So what we're going to do is go ahead and set it for 400. Go ahead and start, raise it to 400, and then go ahead and get it preheated. So what you're gonna want is a stick of butter and some good old brown sugar. All right, so what you wanna do is you take your uh, acorn squash and you wanna score the inside of the squash a little bit and uh, then we'll go ahead and add the ingredients. Okay, now once you got that scored, you'll go ahead and add the butter I say about a tablespoon each, give or take a tablespoon. I like generously amounts. Always with that and the brown sugar. Makes a really good glaze. It's kind of like the uh, the sugar and brown sugar and uh, butter that you add in like your yams on the holidays. Makes that beautiful caramel juice. It's just wonderful. Okay, got our pats of butter in there. Go ahead and our, add our uh, tablespoon of brown sugar. It's all gonna melt in the oven. It's gonna be wonderful. I really like these. I've always had these as a kid. It's kind of a forgotten deal too. I haven't had them for a while. But I thought, you know, seen them at the store, seen them all the time at the store. One of these days I'm going to get one of those and go ahead and make them. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and throw our acorn squash into the oven. Oven should have been preheated to about 400 degrees. We're going to go ahead and bake these babies for about an hour to an uh, hour 15 minutes. So uh, we'll go ahead and take five. This is Skeleton Crew cooking. All right. Now we'll pull those beautiful acorn swash out of the uh, oven. Oh, look at the golden goodness that they are. Yeah. Remember, they're very hot. That liquid in there is very hot. Volcano heat. You don't want to get any on you. All right. 
we'll go ahead and serve these puppies. We'll get these hot mamas off of the, the cooking sheet. And on to the plat. Oh yeah. Get this one here. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, it looks like dinner's served. We're gonna go ahead and get us a beverage, some utensils, and dive in. This been Skeleton Crew Cooking. We'll see you again.